What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Glass Garage where we make detailed and simple. My name is Sock and today I have something special for you guys. So today we actually have a somewhat really dirty rim or wheel and we will be using Jimbo's Pure Magic Cleaner and Hard Ash Shell. I've been using this a little bit. I have the other bottle over there, but um, you know, it's kind of used up. Let me just show you how it looks so you can see. Um, so I've used this quite a bit, as you can see. So I use this about like twice or three times on wheels. Did I use it fully on all four rims? No, I did not. Um, I just wanted to see the capabilities of the cleaning power of it. And this, you know, of course, as you can see, brand new. So just for presentation purposes, but it does really well on just averagely maintained wheels. So I want to try it out on actual, you know, heavy brake dust like this, spray it on, let it dwell, then rinse it off with a pressure washer. And also after you agitate, does it really clean as well as an acid-based wheel cleaner like Meguiar's Acid Wheel Cleaner, which is, or Wheel Brightener, which is a, a great and amazing wheel cleaner, but it's very toxic and have heavy kickback. With this, it doesn't have heavy kickback. It just smells like a regular APC to be quite honest with you. But Jimbo has been testing or, you know, testing products and, and helping develop products for other companies and stuff. So I'm sure he's not gonna claim something that isn't true. So he's saying that this cleans just as good as an acid wheel cleaner without the negative effects and harmful chemicals. So. We'll put that to the test. And then for the wheels, we'll just protect it with hard SO. This has no scent, nothing whatsoever, but it's supposed to be very chemical resistant. Now, one thing to note is Jimbo is coming out with a gallon form of this, which is um, concentrate, and you can actually dilute it four to one, which will be for the wheels and rims, one to one for water spot remover, and then general cleaning 10 to one, and car and truck washing 99 to one. One thing to note, do not use this on anodized, powder coated, or pure aluminum wheels. You will stain them, and always work in a cool surface and don't let it dry. That's about it. Let's just start spraying this and I'll get more to it. All the products will be down below in the description for you guys to order, so yeah. So let's take a look at the wheels. Again, BMWs are notorious for brake dust and there's heavy on caked on brake dust inside the wheel wells. So this is where I'm gonna agitate and see how well it actually cleans. And for the tire rubbers, we'll use the APC or, or tire cleaner and actually just clean that afterwards. But the main focus of this video is just the Pure Magic Cleaner and the hard shell once I'm done. So this is how everything looks. Caked on pretty heavy in there and it is cool to the touch let me back you guys up a little bit set you guys over so first off it is cool to the touch and what we're gonna do is spray the pure magic cleaner and i'm gonna spray it in the barrels i'm just gonna be very liberal with this <coughs> and like I said, it smells like an APC, but it's not, it's not crazy strong. So I'm being very heavy with it just for the sake of the video. And I'm gonna let it dwell. It says let it dwell for about a minute. So 30 seconds to a minute, don't let it dry. And I'm gonna pressure wash this off. So while that's dwelling, let me grab a quick APC for the tires. So let that sit there and it is breaking down the dirt easily. And the brake dust, look, barely, literally any pressure. So I wanna see how it works once I pressure wash it off. So here we go with the pressure washer. It, it's about to hit 30 seconds. So let's start rinsing this off. So let's take a look. It actually was eating that brake dust back there, as you can see. So it's doing a decent job. So I feel like if we agitate this, it will definitely clean it for sure. So just look how much cleaner the wheel is compared to the back and look at all that. It's all that brake dust that came down compared to the back wheel. 
did a pretty decent job just without any agitation so let me put you down what i'm gonna do is just foam up the tire only so i'm gonna let that be i'm gonna come in and spray a liberal amount in here you still get a kickback but it's not as strong so as we let that dwell i'm going to agitate the tire on tire cleaner now what i'm going to do is agitate the face of the or the wheels while we still let the wheel and tire cleaner dwell more in the wheel barrels because it's caked on in there for a while quick little agitation the lugs there we go and now for the spokes All right, let me bring you in here and look how much cleaner it's getting. Look at that. So it's agitating and cleaning super well. put you guys back down it's cleaning the barrels really 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 good that is quite good what I'm gonna do is for the for the other tire in the back I'm gonna use just a wheel and tire cleaner and see how well that actually cleans, but this thing clean really, really, really good. So let me just spray this off, put you guys up, I'm sorry. So let me get you off the tripod and just look how clean the barrels are. That is crazy. Is there some that are still baked on there? Yes, because you can see it's really caked on there. But it actually cleaned very, very well. So that's after, and this is how all the other caked on brake dust looks. That is freaking insane that's how wow and it was literally effortlessly we just scrubbed it and that was it with one pass so once i'm done washing the entire car we'll move on to applying hard ass show all right for so so just some context as you can see there's still brake dust there agitated there agitated there there's still a lot more brake dust left over compared to the front it's still clean well but jimbo's one definitely did clean a lot better as you can see the entire barrel see that that's crazy All right, so just let's just apply some Jimbo on the rims, hard ass shell. And if you haven't seen my short, it's super slick right away. I just love the slickness. The initial slickness is off the chain. And you just wipe it in and wipe off. I'm using this on a wet rim. So you're not going to get the full durability, but look at the gloss just coming from the rims. 
right there just nice and shiny and that's it now it is protected for a couple of weeks look how bright and clean that rim is very 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 nice so i will see you in the outro all right, everyone, so here are my final thoughts on the Jimbo's Pure Magic Cleaner and Hard Ash Shell. So just to keep it short and sweet, pretty much the Hard Ash Shell, it's no scent, very easy to use, very pleasant to use. I just sprayed it on the wheel. That's about it. Wipe it off, super slick, super glossy, and now you add protection. But durability, I'm not too sure yet. But once I put this on one of my customer's car, when he actually gets a full sealant on his car after I polish it, I will go ahead and use this and follow that journey with Jimbo's. So, but overall, very easy and pleasant experience. Now, in terms of their Pure Magic Cleaner, this is something I really um, enjoyed for sure. Now, it does have a little kickback. It's not crazy that the way I was coughing before it when I used to use uh, McGuire's Wheel Brightener, and it still has a slight, a slight kickback. So Jimbo, for sure, it still does have a slight kickback. Is it crazy bad? No, but if you could update that, you know, or probably it's just me. So probably my lungs are dying but that's about it really so overall the way it cleaned the wheels that brake dust and everything that was there compared to the rear wheel where we just applied a whole wheel entire cleaner all in one this outperformed it like crazy it actually did pretty much perform like an acid wheel cleaner everything else that was in there was probably was already fully etched in that you actually need a clay bar and everything to remove that not even mcguire's wheel brightener was going to remove that but after we agitated, boy, this thing cleaned a lot, a lot. Now, in terms of foaming this on, I'm gonna try to use this in the future with a IK foamer and see how well it works because the problem is that this may damage the actual um, IK foamer. But um, Jimbo, let, let us know if we could put this in an actual IK foamer, spray it on and foam it on because I feel like I do use a lot of this product or overuse it or probably I did overuse it this time because it was pretty much a lot of brake dust, but yeah, so this got me four wheels and tires, something that was pretty much neglected, and I used half the uh, bottle. So that's about it. Jimbo, let me know if we can use this inside the IK Foamer. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and these two products will be down below in the description, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.